We're setting sail on a voyage that you won't want to miss. Before you dive into the series, you absolutely must watch this video to uncover the secrets and essentials that'll make your journey even more legendary. First, you need to know that this is a live-action adaptation. Adaptation, but from what? Well, Netflix's One Piece show is going to bring Monkey D. Luffy and Straw Hat Pirates to life. What's really exciting is that this is the first live-action adaptation of the popular manga in the world. That's right, a project that's never been adapted for the small screen before. Netflix has been working on this show for years, and based on everything so far, including the trailer, this will be one of those praise Netflix TV shows. I'm telling you, there will be many, many seasons of this series. For those not familiar, One Piece is a long-running anime. The One Piece manga, which was created in 97, is the best-selling manga of all time. That's right, we're soon going to see the final saga of the story. The One Piece anime started in 99 and, believe it or not, has more than a thousand episodes. Netflix's job was to make a live-action adaptation of these episodes, which I believe is the most challenging thing they've ever had to do. This is why Netflix decided to make a whole One Piece cinematic universe. Well, kind of. Meaning that the streaming giant is working on more than one live-action anime adaptation. The thing is, fans have big expectations, and Netflix must give this huge fan base a proper live-action adaptation if they want these projects to be successful. Luckily, based on the trailers, the creators stayed as loyal to the source material as possible, and now they are one step closer to success. There's also the possibility of Netflix ruining this thing for hundreds of One Piece fans. But let's be optimistic. So, do we have a release date? Yes, we do. One Piece will premiere on Netflix soon enough on August 31st, 2023. I have mentioned that Netflix is quite confident with this series. It really looks like they know what they're doing, and if you're a Netflix subscriber, you know that the company is known to ruin some great TV projects, which is one of the reasons they lost so many subscribers in the last couple of years. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Prior to the streaming premiere, Netflix is hosting fan screenings of One Piece in 10 cities. This event will start in Los Angeles on August 24th and then in Paris on August 29th. On August 30th, the event will move to Jakarta, Tokyo, Milan, and Metro Manila, with Mexico City, Rio de Janeiro, and Bangkok getting their screenings on August 31st. And if you're watching from Germany, you're in luck, as you will also get a virtual event on August 31st. But what exactly will happen on these screenings? Well, Netflix says it would be awesome if you cosplay for the events and have fun for two hours while you'll be able to watch the pilot episode. Sounds fun, right? Now, let's meet the cast members, shall we? As mentioned before, everything about this live-action adaptation sounds promising, including the amazingly talented cast ensemble. Running the going Mary in One Piece as Monkey D. Luffy is Inyaki. Then we have Makenyu as a second-in-command. Emily Rudd will play the ship's navigator, and Jacob Romero Gibson will appear as the team sniper. We will also have Taz as the chef. The main cast did a Netflix video where they introduced each other and the characters they were set to play. Netflix also confirmed that Peter will play Shanks and Stavell will appear as Yasup. We know that the two are set to appear in 10 episodes of season 1. Supporting characters include Aiden, Alexander, Bianca, Celeste, Shantae, Chioma, Craig, as well as Grant, Ilya, Jeff, Langley, McKinley, and Morgan Davies, Stephen Ward, and Vincent Regan. Now, prepare for some really good news. Some Japanese voice actors from the original One Piece anime will reprise their roles in the brand new Netflix project. Per report by the streaming company, these actors will voice their characters for the Japanese dub of the show. The announcement came shortly after Netflix arranged a meeting between the live-action Luffy actor Inaki and the original Luffy actor. At the meeting, they said that they've been working on the anime for so long that Inaki is old enough to be my grandson. In an emotional moment, she gave Inaki a straw hat, asking him to give it back to her once he's become a true pirate. As for the other original actors reprising their roles, we have Kazuha, Akimi, Kapiai, and Hiroaki. I told you, this Netflix adaptation will be awesome. Before we uncover 
more hidden treasures, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell. Why? Because you won't want to miss the legendary insights coming up about what you need to know before embarking on your One Piece adventure. Keep the convo going by leaving a comment or two and sharing your hopes for One Piece. Now let's do a quick trailer breakdown. The first teaser trailer for One Piece was dropped on June 18th, 2023. As mentioned before, the teaser confirms that Netflix stayed loyal to the source material, not risking disappointing a lot of fans. Another promotional footage, which was released during Netflix's 2022 Geeked Week in the video, the actor who will be playing Luffy and the showrunners also provide more details regarding the concept art of the series. In the same video, viewers can also see some of the other characters standing in what seems to be the Straw's Hat first ship, The Going Merry. The most recent official trailer for the series was released in July 22nd, a day recognizes One Piece Day. Unlike the previous trailer, this one is three minutes long and gives us the first look at the treasure of Pirate King Gold Roger. In it, we see Luffy gathering his team. On August 21st, 2023, yet another behind-the-scenes video was released, showing how the amazingly talented actors and the creative team worked on the project. Now it's time for my favorite part of the video, the plot details. If you watched the trailer and read the synopsis for the series, you already know that Netflix will adapt the first saga of the original, the East Blue Saga for Season 1. The cast and crew confirmed that they performed on the sets from the park as well as the arcs. The arc of Syrup Village, where we first meet Usopp, will be also adapted. But since this is a live-action project, we expect to see some changes, minor changes of course, because this first season will consist of 10 episodes. As mentioned, these episodes will cover the East Blue Saga, which consists of 53 episodes in the anime. There will also be some changes in the characters, as reported by Netflix. Shanks will appear in all 10 episodes of One Piece's first season. In the anime, Shanks was nowhere to be found for most of the story. And yes, this live-action adaptation will put the accent on Luffy's story. In the previously discussed trailer, he was the one in focus as he was gathering the crew. And the fact that Garp has been cast, a character who appears in a short cameo in episode 68 of One Piece anime, proves it's going to be a different journey. The synopsis confirms we'll see Monkey D. Luffy gathering his crew as they embark on a wild sea adventure. That wraps up our prelude to the epic world of One Piece. If you found these insights valuable for your journey, give this video a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. Stay tuned for more pirate adventures. See ya!